This process is for purchase or procurement approval. This process streamlines contact between several departments to obtain items. It helps to identify needed items, select appropriate vendors, and create and monitor purchases. As we can see here, once item needs are identified, the manager will review and approve or deny the request. Then a vendor will be chosen, whether it's an existing vendor or whether they need to be onboarded. If these items are above the approved limit, the director will review and approve or deny the request. If it's again above the approved limit, the executive will review it. If at any point it's approved but below the approved amount, the finance department will be notified to place the request. First, the contact information will be inputted, then the item information. Once the item information has been filled out, it'll show you the total cost. The manager will then be asked to review the request. They'll review the employee and what they're requesting, and either approve or deny the request. Then they choose a vendor from the dropdown or a non-existing vendor. If it's below the approved budget limit, it'll continue to the purchasing department. If not, you'll fill out the director name and email. Now the director will be asked to review the request. They can approve and deny or add no, as well as determine whether or not it's in the budget. If not, it'll go to the executive. Then the executive reviews, and if they approve it, it goes to the finance department. The employee will be notified that their request has been approved, and the finance department will be asked to place the request.